YouTube and today I want to show you what you can do with an old drawer like this. Um, this was actually out of my mum's kitchen and it's such good solid wood it really seems a shame to throw it away. So I'm actually going to try and have it freestanding on the kitchen side as like a, a dresser or a bookshelf or something like that. So if I show you what it looks like, it's a bit wet inside because I've just cleaned it out. And what I've actually done is I've decided I'm going to pull it up this way. So you've got this detailing on the top. And then what I've actually done is attach three, you can see three handles for legs. So it's going to stand like that and I'm actually going to do the next one. So this is a really good cheat. If you've got something you want to stand up, you can actually use door handles make sure they're solid obviously make sure that they're quite level and what you want to do is just put it in the side of the wood and make sure the wood is thick enough when the screw goes in because you don't want it poking outside the other that poking out the other side or splitting the wood so you literally just hold it where you want it give it a couple of taps with a hammer and then screw it in, they're quite easy to go in. And you can see already, I mean you could just paint this and stand books in it in the kitchen, um, you could put some shelving in it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to back um, the back of the drawer with some paper using decoupage, and then I'm probably just going to paint these bits inside, but I actually want to leave the outside wood because I think it's really nice wood and you can see the, the joints here where it's all been handmade and then I'm going to maybe put some cup hooks either in the top here or even in the back so you can stand like a teapot and some cups but already you can see that's looking really good now I don't know what paper to use I've got a few I've got this one which I think quite, is quite pretty because I can imagine it's going to go in a, in a kitchen I've got this one, which is upside down, I've got this one, which has got peacocks on it, and then I've also got this one, which is a bit more retro. So I'm going to put them in the back, hold them out and see what they look like, and then I'm going to go ahead and wallpaper, decoupage the back of this, alright? Okay, so I'm just starting to think about the outside of the wood and I've actually dark waxed the top here and I've used any Sloan and um, soft dark wax um, but you can use shoe polish um, I'm sure I'll do a video on alternatives to sort of big brands but anyway that's the top and that's that side and that's been dark waxed and then if you look at this side you can really see the difference so that's not waxed and that is waxed. Now I'm just waiting for the paper inside to dry. But I think that looks pretty good. And then I've painted the inside in the pink. And then I've actually, I don't know if you can see this on there, but I've actually painted the edges in gold. So I'm just going to carry on, wax this side here. And then I'm going to think about what's, what hooks. Um, where they're going to go. So I'm nearly finished. I put the first lot of hooks in. I'm actually going to do six hooks. I put three at the top here, two there, and I'm just putting in the last one. And I'm going to show you how you, you do that. It's the same as we did with the legs. You, you choose where you want it to go. And then you hit it with a hammer a couple of times to make a little hole. And then you just it into the wood. Now these are cup hooks, you can get these from most DIY shops um, and these are the slightly bigger ones because um, some of the smaller ones they, they don't fit the new sort of cups because they're quite wide so these are quite good because they'll take from sort of modern cups and vintage cups. I'm really pleased with that. So you've got six hooks, three in the top, sides are painted gold and it's been dark waxed. So if you do sit it on the top, it's, the edge is going to look really nice. And if I show you what it looks like with the cups in, 
This is what I was saying about having the wider hook. That's really sturdy, that's not going to go anywhere. And there's even room on the bottom if you wanted to put like tea, tea, coffee and sugar next to the kettle. That's it, from an old drawer. Somewhere to keep all your favourite cups. I'm really, really pleased with that. If you have any uh, questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, and if you do decide to make one, please share it on my page, which is Bam Tilly Interiors. And follow us and share us for more videos. See you soon.